Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I have uh, another unbagging and this one has come from AliExpress and I've got two uh, paintings in this one. I have had to have a quick flick just to see which company they were from so I can give you the details. So oops, just turn that one over so you don't see my address. Okay, so shall we do the big one or the small one? Let's do the big one first. So this one, let's have a look, get into this, um, it is a double-sided tape and it is the Colourful Owl. Now I have actually done this, uh, oops, can you see that one? Yeah, you can just, sorry, there's a bit of glare there. I have actually done this one um, in specials. And it was lovely, so I thought I'd have a look at doing it actually as a diamond painting as well with resin girls. Okay, let's get into this. We've got an inventory sheet. Oh, it's all coming, baggies! Yay, we like baggies! Okay, let's so have a look at those in a second. So, inventory sheet, which is good. Oh, that's a bit blurry, goodness me. Oh, that looks like you've had a night out. Right, we're a 40 by 30 and it is 35 colours. Wow. Okay, looks like it's all symbols. Goodness me, I don't think I'll be copying that and using it. That really is quite blurry. I don't know if you can see that, whether it comes out blurry there. Well, that's maybe a bit better picture there that you can see. So I've seen this one around quite a bit. Um, but as I said, I did do the specials. And I thought I would have a go at it. Um, this one is say, from Momo Art Official Store on AliExpress. It is a square drill as well. So, yeah, we've got square drills. Whoa, getting brave, Liz, getting brave. And uh, yeah, it, cut up. it was $4.54. And that's because I used some of my coupons. So, I've got a sticky bit there on my desk. So I have um, mentioned before that if uh, you go on to AliExpress every day, you can collect coupons, uh, sorry, not coupons, coins. And for the coins, you collect so many. And then each day they release new things that you can get uh, swap coins for like a discount off paintings. So it's always worth having a look. Um, if you want more details, I'll try and help you. Um, just put me a comment down below. Right, so it's quite a, an exciting toolkit. Uh, not a standard toolkit, that is for sure. So we have a pen with a, oh, a real different shaped um, pen grip there. Look, that one's like a, a vase or an hourglass shape. It's got uh, a three placer on the end there. We've got uh, oh, a good new, is that a 10? Does it say 10 on it? No, it hasn't got a 10 on it. But yeah, that's a, a 10 placer look. That's a 10 placer, so if you like doing your multi-placing, that's brilliant. We have the good metal, very, very sharp pointy tweezers, so always keep a little lid on those, your little cap on those. We've got a white flat bottomed boat, a little one, which is good for using for smaller amounts of drills. If you've just got a little bit of extra plastic on there. A good, oh, that's four pieces of wax, there's two. Yeah, there you are, that's four little squares of wax or two big rectangles of wax and a white boat. There's no spout on that one, but it's got nice high sides. Okay, so that's a good toolkit. I do like getting the toolkits, I have to say. I just feel like it's an extra little present when you get the toolkits, particularly if they're a bit different. Um, I am keeping a record now of which companies send me which toolkits. <laughs> Don't ask me why, it's just one of those things. Okay, so let's just unroll this canvas. It's got a little bit squished at the end there and it's wrapped around a roll, but fingers crossed it should be okay so let's just open this one up all right take the plastic off so i was uh, listening to some other youtube creators saying 
you're better off keeping these on the rolls um, and not unrolling them and it stops you from getting bubbles and creases but I have to say I do like to open mine out um, and keep them flat as I store them so well, I opened that oh, look I've opened that on the wrong side oh, dear no it's me clipping the blinking sellotape at the wrong place <laughs> oh, dear me because there's like a ridge there what's that then Oh, that's the edge of the plastic. Duh. Silly Liz. Silly Liz. Just take this tape off. I don't like the tape on them. But then again, I do prefer the tape to the rubber bands because the rubber bands can mark the canvas. So let's just roll this one out gently. And just give it a little bit of time to breathe. It does look good, it do seem to be, oh, that's not good, it's creasing itself now, look, oh no, oh no, oh no. we do seem to be getting more and more of these canvases that have like the really wide ends and the little key code just on the one side, right, let's see, oh, this is in two pieces as well, which I don't like, because you can get um, quite a crease in the middle. Yeah, that's fortunately just the paper, so let's just lift this up. Actually, we'll have a look at the canvas while we're here. And just lifting this, just let this settle a little bit. And just lift this up. Corner. It is just the top cover that uh, has got the folds in it, but that looks fantastic. There's no bubbles or creases or anything in that canvas. That looks really, really clear and good. And uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. We've got Momo out at the top there. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. The camera's picking that up a little bit, sort of jazzy, I think, with the colours. There's a little bit of creasing around the edges, but there is nothing on that drill field at all. That's really, really good, really, really clear. And the drill field, see if I can pick it up and show you. Nice clear symbols I think the dark colours are always the hardest to see but yeah that looks clear is that clear the green's a little bit that dark green's a little bit difficult to see but, uh, yeah that's my face at the top there oh, I do like my owls I don't, I've got quite a few owls I've not framed any of them yet oh and it has got um, what I call my dead fly look just there on the uh, canvas when i first got one of these i did honestly think that was a <laughs> dead fly stuck on my canvas and i was thinking "Ooh, that's not nice and trying to get it off and it was only from watching other youtube creators that i realized that this has been in a cross stitch canvas and there you're marking out points for your cross stitch for your charts and that's why those are still on there <laughs> it does look like a dead fly oh dear <laughs> Let's just lay this down as flat as possible. Okay, let's see if we can get this one lined up as well. I don't like the really separate pieces because I'm not very good at putting them back down straight. Let's just put that down. Okay, yeah, oh, that's, that's pretty good. Hey, I must be getting used to doing these. And I'll keep this flat in my little folder. Okay, that's gone down really, really well. So let's give it a quick measure. We'll measure the drill field. Um, you do tend to find that uh, uh, double-sided tape tends to be the exact size. You don't lose the edges on these. So that one is, and um, that is 38 and a half centimetres. So just a little bit under by... 29 centimetres again just a little bit under so it's not quite a 30 by 40 but it's uh, certainly close enough and it will go in one of your 30 by 40 frames okay so the drills have all come lovely in baggies which we like yeah 35 colours wow let's see if we find the end of this Sorry about the crinkling. Okay. 
Oh, there's a lot of three tens there. I think it's a three ten. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh, it's been vacuum sealed as well. So these are squares. Let's just open that so we'll get a bit of air in so we can have a look at these drills a bit. But, uh, actually, let's just tip a few out into a tray and have a look. That's a big bag. I'm building up my squares now. I've got loads of red, uh, round, black. Uh, I've got loads of uh, round three tens, but I've not got many squares. But yeah, that's uh, they're looking pretty good. I can't see any trash there, any knobbly bits on those. They've all lined up nicely in the tray. Okay, so that looks like a good start. Uh, let's just. Uh, do a quick count. One, so we've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 33, 34, 35. So that's the 35 colours. Let's get the bag to put these in. Okay, so we've got all our drills. Look, some lovely colours, but it is a very, very bright and colourful owl. Okay, okay, so I'll have to dig a bag out for that now. I'll do that one in a second. Just put that one out of the way. Right, okay, let's get on to the second one. Now then, this one is from AZQSD. We've had a few from this uh, company before and they've all been okay. I've just finished a custom of Nilly, if you've seen that one recently. Um, it's in the playlist of uh, completion reviews and kitting downs. Okay, and this one is a cup of hot chocolate. Possibly not the best thing to have in the weather now or it could be a cup of coffee or whatever but be nice for a kitchen or even to make onto a card this is only a titchy one this is a 20 by 20 um, and I did also get this one using my coins on Aliexpress so this one cost me three dollars sixty and um, whether I would have got that without the coins I don't know so it looks like we've got a different toolkit different company Let's have a quick look at the toolkit. So we've got your plastic, uh, sorry, metal tweezers. They are just the cheaper ones. They're, they're not very strong. They do bend really, really easily, but you'd probably pick up a few drills if you use tweezers. We've got um, a clear drill pen with a pen grip on it. Single placer, and is that a full placer? I think it is. Yep, that one's a four placer. Yeah, that's a four placer. So that's, and it's one of the thin new ones as well, not one of the quite thick ones. And then we've also got, it seems to be quite a standard thing these days to put multi placers and things in now. Uh, yep, that's a ten placer, so a four and a ten. Um, on a little tiny painting, I'm not sure that you'd maybe use a ten, but two big pieces of wax and a little white flat bottom boat okay it's a little bit bent but that's all right we can still use it so there's plenty there to be able to do this little kit okay let's get this one open before we look at the drills get these scissors back out again okay there's been a little bit of break in the video because i just had to go and collect millie from the dog groomer She's been an absolute little tight. She's got the dog doing the to me. Um, she's not wanted to uh, 
have a haircut she's just wanted to play so every time they've sort of like tried to pick her up to clip her she's wanted to box and play and she doesn't bite or growl at anybody she just thinks everybody's there to be played with and uh, it's not very easy to play with a dog while you've got some scissors and our clippers in your hands okay but anyway she looks beautiful oh look at this oh goodness me so it's come on a foam roller it is double-sided tape and it's got the most enormous um legend at both sides key card at both sides let's just take this cover off Okay, and there's 30 colours. It's 20 by 20 and there's 30 colours on this. Oh, that's nice and clear. Now then, it does say La Lay and you can just sort of make out the letters. Um, I think that means with milk. I think Lay is milk. Café au Lay, yeah, is milk. So, hmm, okay be interesting to see whether the letters stand out. They do seem quite clear on here though, for putting your drills on. So we'll see how it looks once it's done. That's probably just a little night project to do. Um, it's coming baggies. I certainly won't be putting this into any other containers because I think by the time you've put it in the containers, you'll have finished it. But yeah, we've got DMC code. You've got the quantity there as well. I mean, goodness me, look at the little quantities you've got there. I think the most we've got is the letter R, which is 839, which is 649 drills. But one of them's got 10, one's got 11. There's a 44 there, there's a 27 there. <laughs> there's 28. So there's not a huge amount of drill colours, but they have done it. So I'm quite impressed with that. As I say, my uh, Scotty has come out really, really well. Double check we've got all the drills we need. Goodness me, as I say, 30 colours on a 20 by 20. And this is square, is it round? This is a square canvas. So it should come out okay with it being square. Then Oops. There. Let's just have a quick look at the dark colour. Oh, they've been vacuum sealed, so there's no air in them. Which does seem to stop them actually from um, oh, getting static on them. Oh, there's a couple of bobbles on that one. Or is it? No, no. Oh, no, it's not. It's just a doubled over one. I, my bad. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they look pretty good. Okay, so let's have a little bit. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one. Oh dear, we are one missing. Twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. So we're number twenty two missing, which is three seven six six. So let's just mark that. Seven six six. And there's a hundred and thirteen of those, so that's a, like a packet missing. Oh dear, that's a shame because it was looking quite good up to that point. So we will contact them. Um, I have got some, but I probably won't be doing this one for a while. So I'll possibly uh, have them by the time um, I've got this done. But as I say, all companies make mistakes, and I've said this before. So it is a case of how they deal with their mistakes and how they put the things right rather than the fact that they've actually made a mistake because everybody can make mistakes. So let's get these labelled up and I'll keep this one out because I know I need another 
bag of colours for it. So we'll call it a coffee cup. Coffee, oops. Coffee cup. And it's a square. Look at me getting squares. And it's a 20 by 20. 20 by 20. And it's AZQSD. AZQSD. Uh, and the cost was. 360 and 60. Okay, so we'll put one on the bag and one on the drills, and then that just lets me know which is which. And I keep all of my drills in one of my uh, boxes, one of my uh, storage boxes that has got all the gems on it. So I'm not going to seal that one because. I will be keeping that one out. Okay, and then the owl. We do him at the same time. Okay. Oops, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh dear. The owl is escaping. Hi. <laughs> He's got a few crinkly bits on his side, so he needs to. Straightening out a little bit more, but isn't that strange? Mind you, it's different companies, I know, but you know, it's still got the big side there, but it doesn't have the key code on. Whereas that one, this is just a teeny tiny one, and it's got a big key code on both sides, right? So we'll call it Colour Owl, and it's a oops, a square stick special, and it's a 30 by 40. 40 and this one I'm just going to look at my thing look Momo art it's in great big letters at the top okay I'll put that one over here alright just keeps me organised so once I've done this one I will uh, let you see uh, the difference between this one and then also the uh, special dr drill one that I've done as well and we'll put that key code in there so I'm not going to be uh, photocopying that to put on my boxes I will photocopy this because it's a lot clearer that's far too blurry for my eyes I think they've copied that and blown it up slightly <laughs> and that's why it's gone blurry so that's that one. So that's two done. All kit, well, kitted up. Well, I suppose they are kitted up because they're in um, the baggies already. Right, so we have a coffee cup and a colourful owl. All unboxed. So these are just uh, my first reviews. Uh, once I've got them actually completed, then we'll have a proper look and see what we think because obviously you've got to put the drills on them see how they stick see how the drills are when you're putting them on uh, and once that's done i'll come back and let you know so if you've enjoyed seeing these then please press that like button down there it does just help me with uh, youtube and lets me know that uh, i'm on the right track when i'm doing my videos and if you please not just squint in the red and if you want to see these completed and any other projects then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner down here uh, and press that little bell it'll notify you when my next videos are up so thanks for stopping by i uh, hope to see you all again soon bye for now